Hello, I'm Tao Lin from Harvard University. Today, I will share with you our recent work on Nash convergence of mean based learning algorithms in first price auctions. This has been accepted by the Web Conference. And this is joint work with Xiao Tie Deng and Xin Yan Hu from Peking University and Wei Changzhen from Yale University. Let me begin with an application of the first price auction, which is the advertising auctions on the internet. If you search flight booking on Google, then you will probably see many ads given by different advertisers. And we know that the advertisers want to compete for the first ad slot, and they may have different values for the ad slot, and who gets the ad slot is determined by an auction. So they bids, uh, so they submit bids to Google, and then Google determines who gets the ad slot and pays how much. There are two popular types of auction, the first one is the second price auction, where the highest bidder wins and pays the second highest bid. And the second one is first price auction, where the highest bidder wins but pays its own bid. Very interestingly, uh, many years ago, the mainstream of internet advertising auction was the second price auction. But very recently, uh, many advertising platforms are changing their auction format from second price auction to first price auction. So we will focus on first price auctions. Now, unlike a second price auction, the first price auction is non truthful So bidders will bid strategically in a first price auction. And our work wants to understand what will happen when bidders bid strategically. The following is a very simple illustration of the strategic bidding behavior. Let's say the second bidder bids 600, which is equal to its value. And the first bidder has value 800, and what should the bidder bid? Now, clearly, the bidder will not bid 800 because if it bid 800 and it wins, then it pays 800 according to first price auction, and then its payoff will be zero. It turns out that the bidder should bid 600 plus one if it knows that the bids of the second bidder is 600. But the problem in reality is that bidders never see the bids or values of other bidders. If they cannot see the values or bids of other bidders, then how should they bid? Now, actually they can do online learning. So they can do online learning to uh, choose bids, uh, to see which bids is the best for them. And they can do this because the internet advertising auctions are repeated auctions. So, uh, and then the bidders can use automated bidding algorithms to do online learning. And the idea of using online learning in first price auction is not new. It uh, was uh, studied even in the 90s. The question we want to understand in our work is the following. We want to understand how will bidders behave in repeated first price auctions if they use online learning algorithms to learn to bid. I want to point out a key difference between our work and some previous work. Many previous work consider the problem of a single bidder learning problem. So they try to, so they focus on one single agent and then to see, and then try to design a learning algorithm for this agent uh, to achieve some no regret guarantee. But our problem is a multi-agent learning problem. So we have multiple bidders learning simultaneously and we want to understand what will happen when multiple bidders learn simultaneously. More specifically, we ask whether they will converge to a Nash equilibrium. Our main results provide answer to these questions. We consider a wide class of online learning algorithms, which are called mean-based algorithms. We show that if the bidders follow mean-based algorithms, then they will converge to a Nash equilibrium in the first price auction. This is under some assumptions on bidders' values, which I will explain later. Our model, we assume that there are M bidders, a single item for sale using a first price auction at each round. Each bidder has a fixed value for the item. By fixed value, I mean the value doesn't change over time. Recall that we have repeated auctions and this value doesn't change over time. Each bidder runs an online learning algorithm. And I will define what mean based algorithms are in a minute. We assume there's an infinite time horizon. So there are infinitely 
number of auctions between the bidders and the auctioneer. And at each round T, the following happens. Each bidder I submits a bid chosen by its algorithm. So the algorithm picks a bid for the bidder to bid uh, to the auctioneer. We suppose that all the values and bids are in a discrete space normalized to abandoned non-negative integer space from zero to V. After all the bidders submit their bid, the bidder with the highest bid wins and we break tie randomly and the winner pays its own bid. We can use uh, UTI to denote the utility of bid I around T, which is equal to its value minus its bid if it is winner or zero if it loses. Now, after seeing the outcome of the auction, the bidders can use the, the, the feedback they get to update the algorithm. Our question is whether the whole learning procedure will converge to a Nash equilibrium of the one shot auction game. Now let's go back to this assumption fixed value. I want to motivate this. So, so firstly, we are not the only one who make this assumption in the multi-agent learning problem in first price auction. So these are uh, two works that also make this assumption. Now, the second motivation is that uh, we, we think in the internet advertising auctions, usually a large amount of auctions will happen in a second. Um, so during this second, the the values of a bidder cannot change very much. So we think fixed value assumption is not a very bad assumption in this case. Now let me define mean-based learning algorithms, which is a class which is, which is a wide class of long line learning algorithms that include the following. It includes greedy algorithm, it includes our no regret learning algorithms like Afton Greedy, multiplicative weights update, and follow the perturbed leader. And the definition was already given by previous work, but we modified their definition a little bit. And here it is. We used alpha TIB to denote the average utility of beta I if it bids B in the first T rounds. Mathematically, it is the following. We look at each round S, and we do not change the bids of other bidders, but we change the bid of beta I to B and see what's its utility. And we average all the utilities in the first T rounds. A learning algorithm is called mean-based with some parameter gamma if the, hollow, for, if the following holds. We look at two bits B prime and B, and if the average utility of B prime in the first T minus round is greater than the average utility of B by a margin, then the probability that bit of I bits B in round T is smaller than this parameter, which goes to zero as T goes to infinity. Roughly speaking, it says that if we have a uh, we have a bit B that is dominated by another bit B prime, then the probability that we pick the dominated bit is very small. Uh, you can check previous work to see why all those algorithms are mean based. Um, before introducing our main results, I want to say one more thing, which is a characterization of the Nash equilibrium of the first price option. Recall that we use the notation V1 to Vn to denote the values of the bidders. And furthermore, we sort them now increasingly in this way. So we have M bidders with the highest value, and we have M plus one to M prime bidders with the second highest value. We assume that each bidder bits strictly smaller than its own value. And the characterization of Nash equilibrium is the following. We have three cases. In the first case, we have three or more highest value bidders. Then in this case, uh, we must have that the uh, highest value bidders bid their value minus one. But other bidders can bid anything as long as their bids are strictly smaller than their values. In a second case where we have two highest value bidders, then we have two Nash equilibria, where in one Nash, Nash equilibria, the highest bidders uh, bid their value minus one, and in the second case, they bid their value minus two. There, uh, the third case is where we have a unique highest value bidder. And in this case, the highest value bidder should be the second highest value. And the second highest value bidder should be their value minus one. We will use the prioritization of Nash equilibrium in our main results, which is the following. 
we also have three cases. And in the first case where we have three or more highest value bidders, the mean based algorithms always converge to a Nash, to a Nash equilibrium in two senses, time average and last iterate, which I will define later. The second case where we have uh, two highest value bidders, then we only have a time average convergence, but we do not have the last iterate convergence. And in the third case, we do not have convergence guarantee at all. Time average convergence, what do I mean by this? So firstly, this is the traditional definition of time average convergence and our definition will be different. Traditionally, it says that the empirical distributions of bits of the bidders will approach to a Nash equilibrium. But our definition is different. We say that the fraction of rounds where bidders play a Nash equilibrium approaches one. Our definition is stronger than the previous one if the Nash equilibrium is unique. And in that case, our definition implies the traditional definition. Our definition of last iterate convergence is the same as the literature where we require that bidders mixed strategy profile approaches a Nash equilibrium in the limit. Uh, uh, let me briefly go over our the, the formal statement of our results. So in the first case, where we have three or more highest value bidders, there was probability one, both of the following events happen, where the first event means time average convergence, and the second event means last iterate convergence. So if you look at this, we have um, all the bidders with the highest value, they will bid their value minus one. Second case, where we have two highest value bidders, then one of the following event must hold. And the first event means uh, they converge to the equilibrium where they bid their value minus one. And the second event means that uh, they bid their value minus two, which is the second equilibrium. But in this case, we do not have a last iterate convergence result. Finally, if there's a unique highest value bidder, then there receives a mean based algorithm that does not converge at all either in the last iterate sense or the time average sense. In the remaining time, let me uh, first go over uh, a non-convergence results, and then I will briefly tell you about the proof sketch of our convergence result. For the non-convergence result, for, for, for the non-convergence result, we construct an example where we have three bidders with value 10, 7, 7. They uses the follow the leader algorithm, which is a zero mean based algorithm. They generate the they may generate the following bidding pass, where in the first round they bid seven six one, but in the second round they bid seven one six, and in the third round they bid seven one one. It turns out that a seven one one happens in one third of the rounds, but it is not a Nash equilibrium, so we do not have time average convergence. We also see that uh, the bidders do not converge in the traditional definition of empirical distribution, and they do not converge in last iterate. We also have some experiments which show that some no regret learning algorithms like MWU do not converge. Um, and let me give you a very brief proof sketch of the convergence result. Our intuition is that the first price auction with fixed values can be solved by iterative elimination of dominated strategies. To be more concrete, suppose we have three bidders with the same value of one. The equilibrium says that they should bid their value minus one. Now to do the iterative elimination of dominated bids, we see the following. So firstly, the bid zero is a dominated bid regardless of what other bidders bid. So we can eliminate this bid. But after we eliminate the bid zero, uh, the bid one will be dominated and we can eliminate it. We can eliminate all the bids until uh, V minus one, in which case we get the equilibrium. But a challenging part when we analyze the mean-based algorithm is that a mean-based algorithm may pick a dominated strategies with a positive probability, although the probability is smaller than some parameter, but it, the probability can still be positive. Now, uh, this gives us some challenge when analyzing the convergence. And to overcome this challenge, 
we used a technique in previous work, which is a combination of time partitioning and a repeated use of absolute mass inequality. So that's the proof sketch. And summary and open question. We showed that any mean-based learning algorithms will converge to the Nash equilibrium in the first price option, where bidders have fixed values if there are more than one highest value bidders. Um, if there's only one highest value bidder, then not all mean-based algorithms converge. Open question number one. So what's the convergence rate in this case? We only give a limit convergence result, but we do not give convergence rate. Open question number two, can we design better algorithms that always converge in, the, in this case? Open question number three is to study the Bayesian setting where we have where we relax our fixed value assumption. There are some works on that, but they only consider two bidders with uniform ID valuations and with a restricted class of mean-based algorithms. So beyond this case uh, will be a very interesting future direction. Uh, thank you very much.